Collapsed supply chains have created bedlam across supermarkets and delivery services this year. As the sector continues to battle COVID and floods, unions want to protect against another freefall. This government's failure to act to flood supply chains with rapid antigen tests is a direct contributor to those supply chains coming to a grinding halt. They want free rat kits for all supply chain staff, better job security and consultation with workers. The farm workers, the transport workers, the logistic workers and the retail workers. It's insulting to only talk to the employers. Disgrace that we're back down here again having to raise these issues with the government. What we need is for the government to listen to workers the experts in the retail supply chain. We want this government to set up mandatory consultation with workers, unions and industry participants. It's union members reiterating the government failed to heed warnings, leaving workers vulnerable. Supply chain strife, they say, is exacerbated by casualisation. We need this government to act, to put in place an independent body that can examine this insecure work, this gig work, well, tomorrow we're going to be delivering the job insecurity report, which will go to the heart of the pressures on workers right across this country, whether they're gig workers or whether they work in other parts of the economy. Quite clearly, we've got a situation in this country right at this moment where flexibility means flexibility to be ripped off. Ripped off where you have to pay for your own rat tests, right through to being ripped off being paid well below minimum wage. And we're seeing workers giving evidence just last week of working 64 hours in a week for $100 pay. But the government is addicted to cheap and temporary exploitable labour and so long as that is going to continue, we're going to continue with our fight. Unions say supply chains also need to be able to cope with the disruption caused by natural disasters. We've had floods, uh, we've had rail lines that have been disrupted. That is the straw that breaks the camel's back. 